Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at Sears Skin Mart's coin up. And the agitator's got some problems. And normally, if you spin the agitator this way, it should not spin. It should connect directly with the agitator below. This is basically a two piece agitator. Now, if you can see that bottom piece down there, but there's two pieces to this agitator. It's called a ratcheting agitator. Normally, it should grab the bottom part of the agitator when you spin it counterclockwise. It should spin freely clockwise and it does commonly make the sound and you may hear that sound when you're washing your clothes. This kind of sound. Very common to hear that sound. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fix this. Basically we're going to replace the agitator dogs inside and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First thing we need to do is take this cap off and there's a 7 16th bolt underneath. And we'll take this off and we'll look at the uh, ratcheting uh, agitator dog. Okay, once you got the cap off, stick your 716s down in there. Now, if this is too hard, if this uh, this turns the whole barrel when you turn this thing, you might want to think about something else. What I've done is actually these are the rat uh, these are the dogs these are the agitator dogs, and what I've done in a, in a pinch would be to cut these up and stuff them down this crack right here that's only if you can't get this uh, nut off because if you bust this nut off then you're going to have problems um, but anyway 90 percent of these nuts in my world come off i only had one in like 10 years that didn't come off and let's take a look at this this is actually the agitator, whatever, slide washer, it's still intact. It's a little worn out, but it's still intact. I may take a little uh, Teflon lubricant and gently put it over it or some silicone uh, over that. But that's basically what the agitator rides on. And so these are your agitator dogs here. You can see this one's quite a bit worn out. They're pretty well worn out. And we'll, pla we'll take this black sleeve up. And then put the new agitator dogs inside there and uh, and put it back together. And that's how to fix a washing machine that's not cleaning very well. Particularly the, the old school Kenmore direct drive models. They were uh, kind of Toyota Corollas of the washing machine era. Kenmore Whirlpool direct drive. And so uh, normally this part here doesn't wear out. But you can see it's actually fairly worn out um, on the edge but the other part of it is not too bad um, if you have soap scum in there you might want to take a toothbrush and brush the soap scum out rinse it out with regular water and you can see we have the new agitator dogs on and the new agitator dogs have basically have the teeth on them these teeth that basically grab these parts here the little ridges here and so it basically ratchets and if you have the sleeve you can put the sleeve on and you can put it in like so and otherwise you have to put it in upside down so the dogs don't fall out of their little places and then when this goes back on you can see there's kind of these little splines in there there's a spline on top and bottom and then on the right and the left sides that go uh, according to these splines in here so you have to make sure that all lines up when you put it back together Okay, in concluding, uh, this is the proper action for this agitator. Basically, you can see when I try and turn it this way, it does not go. If there weren't clothes in it, it would automatically spin the bottom part of the agitator. And normally, it should spin freely this way. And so, once again, if you go counterclockwise, it should grab the bottom of the agitator. And not spin freely that way. But, if you go clockwise, it should spin freely. And that's typically how they work. Thanks for watching.